This week's video might be a little late, guys. I'm giving you an up close and personal look what it's like being sick when you have CP. Congratulations, guys. We got up this morning. Unfortunately, some of us got up a little sick. So, if you want to figure out what it's like being sick when you have CP, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss this video or any other that I might post. I want to warn you guys, this video might come up a little late. I'll try to get it up on Friday like I normally do, but when you feel like you've gotten hit by a truck, sometimes it's a little difficult to edit and post. We've got the fluids, three bottles of instant tea, we've got the throat lozenges, and the SVU marathon going. So yes, we are definitely sick. Well, that's not necessarily true. I watch SVU marathons whenever they're on. So hit thumbs up if you enjoy Mariska Hargitay as much as I do. Unfortunately, it's a bit more difficult being sick when you have CP because a lot of the medicines you take, they're supposed to make you drowsy, which would normally be good because sleep makes you feel better when you're sick, right? Well, drowsiness affects my balance, so I'm not really... I don't really take a lot of those medicines, so I just have to tough it out. We're not really sure what respiratory virus I have. There's a lot floating around out there, but I did get my flu shot, so if it is the flu, it's a very mild case of the flu. Whatever strain isn't on the shot this year, I don't even know. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I think my voice sounds a little better. I just went to bed really early last night. So, the whole bunch of sleep I got helped. I just took a shower. The steam helped a little bit. I think. Anyway. And then we have to walk Carson, so the fresh air might help. Then I have an appointment that I couldn't reschedule, so. I'm hoping after that. We can train Carson a little bit, and I'm hoping to film that. I walk, when we walk Carson, I have to ride my scooter, and Mom obviously has to hold Carson, so unfortunately we won't be able to film that. But hopefully we'll get some training film today. Yet more fluid for the cold. You know what they say, feed a cold. Gotta be quick about getting rid of this thing. My equilibrium's off, so I have to sit a lot more often than I'd like. So I don't fall on my face and crack my head open. Which I have done two times in my life, and it's not fun. So this is the dress that I'll be wearing to my cousin's wedding in May. I forgot to try it on when I was getting dressed this morning, so we're gonna do that later. Or no, I don't know. But I will do one of those fancy snap things that the big YouTubers do. So. Then we've also got the shawl that I may or may not need. It kind of matches. It's a little lighter. We've got to try it on make sure I don't have a gut. Well, I do have a gut, but that's beside the point. You are such a good boy coming when I call you. Good boy until you landed on my foot. That wasn't so good. That wasn't so good. But the rest of it was fantastic. Good boy. Can you say hi, everybody? Say hi. Why don't you go lay down on your very expensive, except we got it on sale pillow. This was the pillow I got him in his gotcha day video. In case you guys missed that one, go watch it. It says a house is not a home without a dog, which we definitely agree with, don't we, Carson? Hey, buddy, do you want to train before or after you get your bath? I'm sorry, the bath is not negotiable. You kind of stink. Just a little bit. So Carson's homework this week, I don't want to show you my messy dresser, but Carson's homework this week is to hold it, an object in his mouth for a few seconds before giving it to me in preparation for a carry command which we tried just for the heck of it 
and he did pretty good. He did about a few seconds without dropping it, but we had to speed up the process so he didn't really have time to drop it. We had to speed up walking him, which I didn't do, my volunteer did. My, my volunteer at Mainline was walking him kind of fast so that she didn't have time to drop it. It was like this bit of shelving that we sometimes use that's in his training bag. So sometimes we use that. But his favorite thing to retrieve right now is the pizza keychain that holds the keys. But it's really soft in his mouth, so he likes it a lot. It's perfect. It's about three inches above your knee, but it's not too short. What do you guys think? You like it? Doesn't give me too much of a gut. I think that's a good thing. As long as I don't gain or lose any weight before the wedding, we should be pretty good. It fits pretty perfectly. And now I'm back in my Amazon wear. Amazon is pretty true to size. I found, I think this is a large, but I'm not quite sure. He really likes this. This is his retrieval object. It's just some old keys or a keychain. It's really soft in his mouth, so he likes it a lot. But one of the phrases that we're trying to teach him is that he can't have it unless I give it to him. So right now he's in a down stay. I'm going to treat him for that because I asked him to go down. Yes. That's what we call a marker word. Every time I say Y-E-S, he gets a treat. He expects a treat every time we say Y-E-S. Also, his release word used to be OK, but we used it so much in conversation that we switched it to F-R-E-E. -E. Front. Good job. This is called the front position. He is between my knees. In fact, I'm kind of kicking him right now, so I'm going to try not to do so. Yeah, yeah what's she doing? What's mom doing, Cars? Carson? Carson. Good eyes, good looking. I'm going to give him what he wants, which is his pizza keychain. He wants to retrieve. He's a Labrador. Carson, get it. Give. Good. Get it. Give. That's a good give. Good boy. He's starting to learn that give means take it out of your mouth. Now we're going to try to... Are you camera shy? Fine, I'll turn the camera on me. Not only do I enjoy hanging out with Carson, but he's also one of the beings in the house that I can't get sick if I hang out with him. Mom is the only one left standing so far. The new criterion is trying to hold it in his mouth in preparation for a carry, like I said before. So I'm going to wait a little while before I ask him to give it. Um, this could backfire a little bit. He might think it's a toy, but we're going to try. Get it. It's on my lap right now. Going to wait a second. A second is actually... A really long time for a dog. Give. Good boy. Get it. Give. Uh-oh, you dropped it. Get it. Get it. Give. Uh, the more you itch, the more you convince me you need a bath. This is a better example of the front position. He is right between my knees. Carson. Yeah, I know. I had the pizza right there. But you can't have it right now. You can't have it right now. Hey! Stop. Some of the things we'll be working on for next week that was also on my homework is a psychiatric block, which is step one for a mobility brace. So what happens is you put your hand in a sweeping position for the dog, and that means come parallel to me in a standing position. That's the psychiatric block. And then what I'm going to do, that's step one for a mobility brace. Then next, you 
lean into the dog, put your hands on the dog, make sure they don't make sure they can take your weight without shifting position. Because sooner or later I'm going to need them to help me get up. And that's the mobility brace part of the program. I am going to eventually use him for mobility so that eventually I can start taking away one of my crutches and use him instead. I can't wait for that to happen because that just increases our bond. Why do you always have perfect position when I don't have the camera on? Huh? Anyway, I have to get ready for that appointment that I couldn't reschedule, so I will see you guys later. Bye.